Arrive in your mat, coming onto the knees and sitting back onto heels for extended child's pose. The arms are straight forward by the head. The shoulders relax. And the forehead resting on the ground allows you to connect to the third eye center and start breathing in clarity. And breathing out any mental clutter. Feeling the breath. Observing sensations of the body expanding, perhaps in the ribs. The back ribs expanding as you breathe in. And softening, relaxing back together as you breathe out. Let each breath be full and easy, nothing forceful. Just becoming aware of the life energy running through you, all that prana, all that vitality. And then walk your hands over to the right side, stretching the left side of the body, the back. The shoulders stay down the back, so they stay away from ears. We breathe into the left side, into the sensations of stretch. And then we walk the hands back to center and over to the left. Maintaining the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down towards the hips. And we breathe into the right side. Again, into any sensation of stretch, creating spaces as we breathe mindfully and connect to the body. Come back to center, spread the fingers wide. Come forward onto your hands and knees, curl the toes under and lift the hips up and back into downward facing dog. Beginning to paddle out the feet, bend one knee at a time and send the opposite heel down to floor. The hips move side to side. We stretch the waist, the low back, the hamstrings, Achilles tendon. And as you pause in center, perhaps a slight bend in the knees to help find nice length through the spine. Lower abdominals gently draw in. Relax the neck. Relax your jaw and your eyes. With the inhale, glide forward into plank position and hold. Knees may come down to the floor or they can stay up. Pressing the inner heels back, engaging the inner legs, chest reaching forward, neck is long. Bringing the knees down to floor for tabletop position, hands directly underneath the shoulders. Knees under hips on the inhale, lift up the chest, look ahead. On the exhale, contract the belly and round the spine, bringing chin into chest. Inhale, lift the heart center, shoulders soften down. Exhale, squeeze the belly in, stretching the back of the neck, the upper back. Inhale, lift up the chest again. Exhale, round. This time, extend the right leg back as you inhale, look ahead. On the exhale, bring knee to nose. Extend back again, inhale, open heart. Exhale, knee comes to nose or forehead. Open again, inhale, stretching the front of the body. And on the exhale, contract the front, stretch the back. Next time you inhale, extend the right leg back, place the toes on the floor, left foot to the left, like a kickstand as you turn your body right, reach the right arm up to ceiling and then overhead. Lengthen through the low back by gently sending the tailbone in the direction of your right heel. And then a few circles with the right arm, exploring mobility in the shoulder girdle. Pause with the right hand reaching back towards whatever is behind you now. 
And remember to maintain the length in the low back. The navel gently into the spine. Perhaps bend the right knee to hold the top of the right foot to deeper back bend. Send the foot away from hip. Neck stays long. If there's a lot of tension around the neck, you might want to look down at the floor, close to your left hand, or look forward or even up towards the ceiling. And then release the right foot down, reach the arm overhead again. Nice side body stretch. Looking down, <coughs> lower the right hand, lower the right knee, and reset. Couple round of cat cow. Lift your chest as you breathe in. Round the spine as you breathe out. Inhale, the chest up. Exhale, the spine rounds. Inhale, lift up the chest one more time. And then expanding the left leg back. Inhale here. Exhale, bringing in the knee. Inhale, open chest. Exhale, round the spine. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, stretch the back. Extend the left leg back with the toes on the floor. Move your right foot to the right of the kickstand. Left arm reaches up to sky and then over the head. Enjoy the stretch for the left side. The shoulders stay away from ears. A few circles here with the left arm. What is the mobility in the left shoulder girdle now? Pause with the hand reaching back, palm facing the ceiling. Maybe bend the left knee to hold the top of that foot. Send it away from hip. Make sure the neck is okay. Adjust your gaze as needed. Releasing the left foot back down to floor, left arm reaches overhead. Side body stretch. Looking down, left hand down, left knee down, reset in table. Walk the hands a couple inches ahead of the shoulders, curl the toes down the dog, hips up and back. The inhale, lift up high the toes, heels high, exhale, bend the knees, look between the hands and step between or close to the hands. Inhale, reach your chest forward. Lengthen through the spine, exhale, fold over the legs, go to Nasana. And remain here for a few breaths. The knees can be bent, any grip of the arms that you like. You can try this um, one that I really like, taking the hands to the outside of your shins, behind the shins, and then crossing one over the other to hold the front of the shins. Release the head down. <coughs> Distribute the weight onto your feet, balls, heels. And then release the hands down. With the inhale, come halfway up. Exhale, hands to hips, slide down in the knees, coming to stand. Release the hands down. Inhale, circle the arms, reach up to sky. Exhale, bring the hands at heart. Interlace fingers, press the palms up to sky. Fingers are interlaced, lean over to the right. Take a breath into the left side of the ribcage. And stay as you exhale. Come to center on the inhale and over to the left on the exhale. One more breath, inhale. And stay on the exhale. Inhale, center. Open the arms, interlace hands behind the hips. Inhale, extend the arms back, lift the chest. Exhale here, relax the neck. Low ribs, do not stick out, contain them and take another breath into the center of the chest, into the throat. And release the hands, circle the arms, inhale, reach up. Fold over hand, over legs, and exhale. <sighs> Inhale, reach your chest forward. Hands to floor, step into plank. Take one breath in plank. Lower down, halfway or all the way to the belly. Knees can go up or down. Upward dog or cobra. Inhale, downward dog. Exhale, all the way back. 
Lifting the right leg high up the sky, turn the toes to the right, bend your right knee. Left heel towards the ground, press equally down your hands. With the inhale, extend the right leg, square off the hips, step the right foot forward between the hands, lower left knee down. Raise your arms up, bend the left elbow, tuck it in using the right hand. You can keep your right hand on the elbow or you can reach out with that arm and then bind behind the upper back. Open up the chest. Now from here, curl the left toes under. Lift the left knee off the floor. We're in a high runner's lunge. Find length of the low back, drawing the low belly. And then lower the left heel to floor, moving into warrior two, adjust the feet, right heel to left arch, open the arms wide, position the shoulders above the hips, if you have a little baby, wiggle your fingers, keep them entertained, <laughs> turn the right palm up, exalted warrior, right arm up, left hand touches the back leg, we keep bending the right knee right above the ankle. Enjoy the stretch for the right side, and then inhale, extend the right leg. Triangle pose, reach the right arm far forward, the right hand far forward, and then bring it down. Back of the hand touches the shin, left arm reaches up to sky. <laughs> Keep lengthening through the under waist, right waist. Sending the right hip away from right shoulder. One more breath. <laughs> left hand to left hip. Bend the right knee, either forearm to right thigh or hand to floor. Opening up the chest to the right, perhaps a bind with the right arm coming under the leg, left arm behind the back. Open through the heart center. Keep sending the right hip towards the back heel, left heel. So you're wrapping the under hip under. Maintain length in the right side. From here, releasing the hands. Bring them to either side of the front foot and square off your hips, coming back into a lunge position. Then step the left foot forward, a third of the way, extending both legs, ground down to the feet. The left toes are slightly weighing out. Reach your chest forward, period legs. Fold over the right leg, release the head. Relax the neck, connect to your breath. From here, we'll re-bend the front knee and come back into a lunge position. Then lower the left knee down to floor. Left hand grounds down, right hand to hip. Open up the chest, extend the right arm up. Maintain the right hip back. Cut. You might want to curl the back towards and straighten that leg. From here, the left uh, knee will come back down. Walk the right foot slightly out with the right toes pointing out. Let the knee open. Be mindful of the knee. You might want to bend the back knee to hold the top of the foot. Maintain that right hip back. Open up the chest here. Release the foot, lower the hand down. Lift the left knee off the floor, step into plank, take one breath. Lower down, Chaturanga or all the way down. And then Cobra Bhujangasana or Uddha Mukha Svanasana, knees up or down. Adho Mukha Svanasana, all the way back. Inhale, high up on the toes. Exhale, bend the knees, look ahead and step or hop in between or close to the hands. Inhale, reach your chest forward. Fold down over legs, release the head. Circle around to come all the way up, Urbhastasana. To the heart, Namaskar, salutation. Connecting to this moment, to your breath. Other side, inhale, circle wide, reach up. 
Fold over legs, bow. Inhale, chest reaches forward. Hands down, step or hop back. Bend the elbows, lower halfway or all the way. Inhale, Uttva Mukha or Bhujangasana. Exhale, Adho Mukha Shanasana. Now the left leg is going to lift on an inhale. Turn the toes left. Open up the hips, bend the left knee. Right heel towards the floor. Let's see the insides of the hands down. So there's not too much weight, only on the outer edges of the hands. Distribute that evenly. Inhale. Extend that left leg, square out the hips. Step the foot forward between the hands. Lower right knee down. Lift the arms up. We're now bending the right elbow into Gomukhasana. Maybe touching the top of the upper back of the right hand. Left hand may want to come down for that bind. Fullness into the low back. Opening the front body. Curl the right toes. Extend the right leg. You might want to step it forward, the foot uh, forward just a bit for more stability. Contain the low ribs. Energize the inside of the leg, pressing back to the inner right heel. Extend the arms up, moving into warrior two, right heel down, open the arms wide. Virabhadrasana two, the left knee is over ankle. We ground down through the outer edge of that right foot. Wiggle your fingers. Turn the left palm up. Exalted warrior, left arm up, right hand down. Extend the left leg, Trikonasana. Reaching forward with the left hand and then down. Right arm to sky. The shoulder blades drop into each other, down the back. <laughs> From here, bending the left knee, we're moving in Parshvakonasana, either forearm to thigh, right hand to hip, or maybe left hand to floor. I'll open up the chest. You could take a bind, the left arm under the left leg, behind the left hip to the side, right hand behind the back. Breathing consciously, fully, never compromising the breath. Looking down at the left foot, release the hands either side of the foot, readjust yourself into a lunge position. <laughs> Step your back foot forward into pyramid legs, extending both legs, right toes slightly out. Keep drawing the left outer hip back, reach your chest forward to lengthen, and then fold over the left leg, release the head. Soften here. Preparing for a twist, we neutralize the spine a little bit, and then reaching the chest forward, we bend the left knee, lower the right knee down. The right hand stays down on the shoulder, left hand to hip, look over to the left, and then reach your left arm up. Adjust the shoulder heads, rolling them back away from ears, maybe extending the right leg, lifting that back knee off the floor. And then from here, you could take the right knee back down, left hand to hip for a moment, left foot walks out just slightly, left toes turn out, the knee can open to the left, the hip stays back. We could bend the back knee, right knee to hold the thumb of the right foot, opening up the chest. From here. Release the back foot, take your hand down to the floor. Step into plank pose for one breath, inhale. Exhale, lower, halfway or all the way. Inhale, lift up the heart. 
Exhale, downward facing dog. Move around as you like. <laughs> you can lift and lower the heels a couple times. One more vinyasa here. Inhale forward, plank. Exhale, lower down your version. Knees up or down. Inhale, lift up the heart. Open chest, open throat. Exhale, downward facing dog. Deep breath in, heels high. Breathing out, bend the knees, look forward, stepping into Malasana, feet wide into a yogic squat. We're gonna reach the chest forward, bend the knees, the toes can point out as we lift the chest, bring the hands at the heart. Tailbone towards floor, keeping in the side of the waist long. From here, we'll sit down for a moment, bringing the hips to floor. Extend both legs forward. Bend the right knee. Cross the right foot over the left leg. Either keep the left leg straight or bend that knee. Left arm around the right shin, right hand behind. Get tall. Look over the right shoulder. Mama to reach with the left hand to grab the outside of the right foot and then extend that right leg forward, maintaining the right hip down, reach the right arm back, palm facing up. Looking back towards the right hand. Find that length in the spine for one more breath here. And then reach the right arm up, bend the right knee, hold the inside of the foot, re-extend the leg, grabbing down through both hips, soften through the shoulders. Just one more breath here. Bend the right knee, re-extend both legs forward. Take a deep breath in, reaching the arms up. Reach forward to grab your feet. You can bend the knees and look at the your head. Hashimutanasana. Keep the big toes close together. Any inner rotation in the legs. Creating a little more space in the back of the pelvis. Reach up to chest again. Sitting in the dasana for a moment. Hands by the hips, body in a L shape. <laughs> Bend the left knee. Cross the left foot over the right leg. Either keep it straight or bend that right knee. And then grounding down to the left hip, right arm around the left shin, left hand behind. Get tall. Look over the left shoulder. Soften through the shoulders. The left hand doesn't have much weight on it. Keep finding length through the spine. Observing the gentle compression of the abdominal organs as you twist with the left leg close to the belly, compressing the belly and breathe deeply. Right hand can reach for the outside of the foot. We can extend the left leg forward. Left arm can reach back. Shoulder heads roll back and down. Just another breath here. Reaching the left arm up. Bend the front knee. Hold the inside of the foot. Then re-extend the leg. Open up the heart. Still grounding through both hips, left hip bone. Sometimes one to have is better keep it down. And from here we can re-bend the left knee to extend both legs forward again. From here we're going to bend both knees through the inside of the legs. Take your hands to the big toes with the first and second fingers. Lift one foot off the floor and then the other and extend your legs wide. Keep lifting up the chest. 
Finding balance here, point where it's pretty comfortable. There's always a little bit of work, but it's it comes to a point where it's really minimal work. One more breath. Rebend the knees, crossing the legs. And from here, we'll finish by finding full spine as neutral as possible. The hands can be resting on the legs. Index and back, slightly joined together on the gesture of wisdom, Yana Mudra. Taking a moment to bring awareness to the seven chakras. Muladhara at the base of the spine. Sadhisthana at the pelvic floor. Manipura at the solar plexus, Anahata at the heart center, Vishuddha at the throat, Agnya at the third eye, Sahasrara at the crown. Join the hands together gratitude for this body, for this life. <coughs> Namaste. <coughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>